Hello, it's Johnny, and Wheels is um, about to sit down. He's just uh, doing the glamorous job of changing our camera view. Um, look at this. We've we've only done and an, done gone and arranged the second stream for ourselves. Here he is. Hello. As promised, here is here is Wheels himself. Um, this is War with the Evil Power Master, which is based on an old Choose Your Own Adventure book. Um, as you can see from the uh, oh, I should, I should do it that way. Really, that'll be upside down. The old uh, there it is. There's the old book cover, based on the book by R. A. Montgomery. Mm -hmm. And now it's sort of like it's a game because I don't know if we like I don't know if you ever really read Choose Your Own Adventure books as a kid. I you could play them with friends if you just read them all out loud and then yeah. talked about the decisions. But now. It is a board game with an actual thing. Um, now it has been formalized. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's pretty much what I meant to say. Um, and uh, so, yeah, hello, everybody. Let us know if the audio is all good and all that kind of stuff. Um, apologies in advance if we are incoherent at, I was going to say any point during this stream. I think what I meant was every point during this stream. Because we got back from Seattle, from PAX West, <laughs> yes, two today. days ago. Yesterday? No, yesterday. Day before yesterday. Day before it feels yesterday. like yesterday. And we are... Very tired. Very tired. By the sounds of it, Johnny more than me. Um, I was doing fine up until this morning, and I feel absolutely ruined. So let's <laughs> learn how to play a Choose Your Own Adventure game. <laughs> Hello to Asmodee as well. How are you doing? Um, we have our good friends over at Asmodee watching by the sounds of it. Oh, brilliant. I don't know if that is Debo or if that is Abby or Aurelian. Hello, I don't know also to Cameron Gorsell and Dragon Disco TV, Kenny Stoneman. Hello, Kenny Stoneman. Uh, Emma Benton at Fruit Bat, Theodore Pinnock, Brock Sisson, uh, what, Adam F. As All of the names. As for Dragon Gaming, <laughs> Veronica, uh, <laughs> other people, hello. Um, you can't just keep reading out names for the entire stream, Johnny. I know that that seems a lot more plausible. <laughs> it's, uh, I'll tell you what, it's actually a... You have a look at that. It's right. actually a holdover from my days at Eurogame when Ian would enter what is known as the naming trance and he would just be like... Brrr, and just go down the list. And oh he's my word. really, really good at it. Jeez. Hello, Aurelian. Um, How's it going? So, yeah. Um, if you hear any screaming, by the way, <laughs> uh, it's because Eurogamer is streaming in just the next room yeah. and the sound insulation is not what you thought it might be. As seems to be be our sort of niche here. We only make board game videos with other companies screaming in the background. So <laughs> if that's what you're much. into, then you're in the right place. Mm -hmm. So we are playing World of the Evil Power Master, as we said. Um, it looks like we're just going to be reading through things and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so the Evil Power Master is leading a violent rebellion against the Lacunian system, an alliance of several galaxies and thousands of planets. Pardon me. You are part of a rapid force crew from Lacus tasked with bringing him down before he can carry out his sinister plans. This is a cooperative game in which players work together as a team to defeat the evil Power Master. Your crew must use data, clues, and an ingenious algorithm to boost a radio signal that will lead you to evil Power Master's location. If your crew discovers the evil Power Master's location before he realizes his evil scheme, a final battle ensues. If the crew defeats the evil Power Master, the Lacunian system is saved. Otherwise, it's destroyed and all order in the system is lost. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Beautifully read. I'm yeah. really sorry. I started giggling halfway through because I realised that one of my characters, I've got Commander Chen and flipped to toe. <laughs> I've got some Lacunian action ointment. Basically, if you start fighting too hard, there's a lot of chafing that can go on. <laughs> I mean, it That's is filled with an energizing goo. And mm. after a challenge roll, I can discard this card to roll again and add my second roll to my first roll for my challenge total. Ooh. Lacunian action ointment. <laughs> Just let that sink in. I it suppose. is very 80s, as a fruit bat points out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we've got we've got an e EPM meter. We've got a signal tracker. It looks like if any of those go to 25, then they explode. OK, fine. Um, We've also got characters, so we always play with four characters, we divvied them up. Mm -hmm. I am Dante the robot, uh, who is some kind of weird object which floats. You look like you look like a cybernetic candy corn. Yes. Yeah, that's much better than what I was thinking. Uh, yes. um, there's also just, just Tara. Tara, yeah, Tara, <laughs> you know. I've got uh, Commander Chen, as I already stated, who is either wearing gloves or has like knucks, like metal knuckles. Ooh, maybe. Does it uh, say? Stitched in. Um, so young, yet entrusted with so much responsibility. A hot, a bit of a hothead. Once action, now analysis later. Mm. Has never been to Earth. 
Represented Lacus in the Cunian system kickboxing. So maybe. Maybe. Maybe they are Nux. Maybe. There you go. And I've got Flip Toe. Flip <laughs> Toe. Who's a. Uh... Oh. Colleague and teammate of Chen. Wow. <laughs> That's a really great bio. When all you, do you can know do what? is I was define saying... yourself by other people. I was saying it was Kiff. It basically is, isn't it? It's Kiff from Future Army, yeah. <laughs> anyway, right. Let's try and do the thing. Right. So Lots we... of love, actually, for Choose Your Own Adventure books in the, in the chat. Do you know what? I met Steve Jackson once. Really? Yeah, the guy who wrote the um, sorcery books mm -hmm. and a lot of the fighting fantasy ones because he was... Well, we were doing the sorcery games at the time, mm. so I met him. But yeah, it's a cool we guy. being Creative Assembly Wheels' his former employer. In case you no, Inkle. Aware. No, Inkle. Well, being yeah. I didn't know. So. Did an internship with Inkle. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it looks like this is all pretty standard, so mm -hmm. we're not going to read the whole book. <laughs> um, and we're just going to crack sure on. That'll end well. Yeah, yep. it's good. Right. So. Epilogue. Um, wang. Epilogue. Isn't the epilogue the thing that happens at the end of the thing? Shouldn't it be prologue? <laughs> Let's read the rest of the rule. Or book. even log. <laughs> <laughs> Captain's log. Main story cards include story choices that will send you to other story cards. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Start the game by taking the three Lacunian Congre Congress story cards. There we go. Okay. Lacunian Congress. 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 Does anybody remember in the chat the there was a Mario and Luigi tuning to your own adventure uh, book? It was for some reason heavily centered around, like, excuse me. Oh, God. Different types of soda. Like, the Mushroom Kingdom was like making different sodas. And, like, at the end, it boiled down to a button. And it was like, are you going to push the button or are you not going to push the button? And if you push the button or didn't, I can't remember. One of the choices was like insta death. And oh, then you won. It's very, very strange. There was a disarming amount of instant death in a lot of these, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. Which is why I think, because um, that's kind of, I'm kind of shilling for my old company now, but it was kind of an interesting thing about the app version of Sorcery, mm. is that you could rewind time, because they were basically like, uh, everyone who plays this game just has a thumb on the page before, yeah. so that you can just go back to the thing that you did before yeah. and be like, no, I didn't do that. You know what, like, I, um, I used to play them, like in not not hard mode. I guess it was hard mode to not keep a finger in the book mm. and go back. God damn it! If you made the wrong choice. But the thing was, when I went back, for some reason I felt like I had to read the intro again. So I'd be like, Yeah, I know that I'm walking to the fair. <laughs> oh, it's boring. I don't know why I couldn't just be like straight back to the first choice. Unskippable cutscene yeah, that exactly. you created for yourself. Exactly. I Amazing. Was, um, I, I was a studious child, apparently. Oh my god, Johnny. The evil Power Master is back! Shouts Commander Chen to his green skinned Martian friend, Flupto. Wow. And he's still doing evil things! <laughs> I love this already. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Chen hands Flupto a message from, uh, message, sorry, that just came into Rapid Force Command from a remote sector of the vast Lacunian system. The news is grim. Oh, bum, no. bum, bum. Sudden total destruction of planet Marzina. Sector 314789. Evil Power Master claims responsibility. Have a nice day. Re <laughs> there's, not, there's no way to end. Uh, I mean, that is how we end every single video, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. We're yeah. not ones to talk. Carry mm. on. Flipto crumbles the paper message in his three fingered fist, his usual Martian self control. Replaced by anger. He's got no self-control. Look at him. He's wearing jorts <laughs> with, a, with a big old buckly belt and some form of textured crocodile skin waistcoat. Yeah, I mean, that. some poor animal died for that horrendous jacket. Uh, yeah. Uh, God, where is he now? Um, replaced by anger. Did you expect anything else, Commander? He demands. We both knew he would be back doing his evil thing. Wow, it's quite... Quite, quite blasé about the total destruction of a planet, but there we go. I hoped we had destroyed him in the Purple Days War, Chen says. So many lives lost. So much carnage. So much purple. I think this might be intentionally this is comedic. Quite good. Yeah. Uh, the Rapid Force officers sit in silence, remembering how the evil Power Master rallied the renegade planets that were denied entrance to the Lacunian System Alliance and led them in a rebellion. His powers must be strong again, Chen says, breaking the silence, or he would never have attacked. Go to Lacunian Congress story card one. All right. Um, you are primary unit commander, says Flupto. What are your orders? Call all unit commanders to meet with the Lacunian Congress, Chen says. We must plan for our defense. Very long ellipsis. And maybe mount an attack. 
Chen and Flipdo lead the other unit commanders into Lacunian Congress. <laughs> where they are playing a horror game. <laughs> Countless voices fill the great hall, speaking hundreds of languages. The dread in their eyes is clear. Every conversation is about the evil power master doing a new evil thing. <laughs> Chen meets with Tara, the congressional spokesperson. That's my person. Uh -huh. um, Tara is respected for her firmness and wisdom in Congress and for being a fierce veteran of the Purple Days War. I knew that evil, that evil drip wouldn't stay quiet for long, Tara says. Before Chen can reply, the Great Hall is silenced by a booming, metallic voice. Uh-oh. It is the voice of the evil power master. Give up, fools! <laughs> Your time has come! Mahazina is just a taste of my power! Give me total control of the system! Or more planets will perish, including Chemog, Aruf, and Earth. You have three days to comply. That's a pretty good Winston Churchill. <laughs> no, just to say we will fight them on the beaches. <laughs> we will fight them on the beaches. You see what I mean? <laughs> Well, Winston Churchill was relatively evil. The hall erupts in chaos, with representatives <laughs> from across the Lacunian system God. all rushing to contact their home worlds. Rapid force is on their own now. Tara is smiling, however. Come with me, she says. This may be our break. <laughs> Ever Benton, oh no, he broke Johnny. The chat is really enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, up until God. now, they've not really been commenting on the stream. They've just been telling quite good jokes to mm. one another. But now, <laughs> <laughs> evil, ma evil power master cannon voice <laughs> confirmed, says Jeffrey Wells. Please carry on. Chen is confused, but he trusts Tara. She saved his butt more than once during the war, and he'd like to continue to keep his butt intact. Tara takes Chen and Flipdo to a computer room where her one-eyed, one-eyebrowed droid, Dante, sits in front of a console. Go to the Kunian Congress story card too. I think the the thing about this, like obviously, at, at first I was like, this is so the, the writing on this is so lame, and I was mm. like, the writing on this is so camp. I, <laughs> I realised when you're a child, obviously all that nuance is going to go way over your head. Yeah. You're going to be like, oh, this is cool space yeah, yeah. drawings, bow, 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 bow. especially um, in the eighties as well. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like they're they're leaving something in for the parents who are having to read this. Yeah. Kids. Which is kind of how I feel like you, <laughs> our relationship is working. It's just, keep, you're just about keeping me together. Please carry on, Wheels. We got him now, Dante cries. <laughs> the evil power master's message let us right to him. <laughs> Almost. Tara's smile fades. Almost. He bounced the messages through nine planets, says Dante, including a base here in Lacus. We must be on one of those nine. We'll have to explore the planets to find him. Flipto looks at the readouts. The signal is too weak to pinpoint his location, he says, grabbing the last Sinistar bagel from the table. Uh, who's talking? Then it will be looking for an evil needle among nine haystacks, Chen says, his stomach growling. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> haystacks. <laughs> Damn that evil needle. <laughs> or a bacterium burrowing among nine gigantic Sinistar bagels. So much product placement in this. I, I hate it. I know. Sinistar have obviously paid for their placement in this. <laughs> we didn't see a red cent of that money. <laughs> Other bagels are available. <laughs> Take that, Sinistar. <laughs> Flipto shoots Chen a side eye. You're not getting one bite out of this bagel, he hisses. <laughs> no time for bagels, snaps Tara. We need to boost that signal. Flipto's forehead wrinkles. If we visit planets where the evil power master has been... He can, can collect. <laughs> we can collect from transmission data, he says. I can use the data to design an algorithm to boost the signal. Then we can find him, says Tara. Flipto and I will head out on the fizzlet, says Chen. Dante and I are coming too, says Tara. Four heads are better than two. Oh, God. And 18 arms are better than four, says Dante. Wow, that's primo Dante. You nailed that. <laughs> And this bagel is gone, says Flipto, polishing off the last bite. Flipto's kind of a jerk. Mm. Right. Right. De determine your starting planet by rolling the die two times. The first roll determines the column, the second determines the roll. All right. One. one. So one of these two. Okay. Five. Five. So 
Yeah, yeah, that one, I guess. <gasps> Proxima Centauri? Proxima Centauri! Ah, oh, good. I, I could never but, remember the anthem. The radio Proxima jingle. Centauri. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome to Proxima Centauri in the morning. Proxima Centauri live! <laughs> right, now what? Start the game by placing the ship mover, which is that. Um, where did I go? On the planet, in that column and row, and reading the first card in the planet's story card deck. Do you, wanna, do you wanna take over reading now? Sure. I mean, I'm not sure I'll be able to do it any justice. So do I flip it over to... No, 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 other, other oh, side, oh, oh. and then on the top of each card, it has like the planet. Proxima so find the Proxima one. Of Nero. Ooh, looks like we're there. Pro, 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 Proxima. Pro, 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 proxima. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the, the image, for everyone's reference, there you go. It's Proxima Centauri. I, t I can't tell if it's on there because the video is lagging on the YouTube channel. There we go. That's fine. Yeah. There you go. You see the LCD. Cool. There you are. I'll, I'll leave these here. That's fine. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder how easy it is to put this back together. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> You're right at Fruit Bat. The deck is lovely and thick. Careful. <laughs> Proxima Centauri. The crew arrives at Proxima Centauri to investigate reports that the evil power master is hiding mercenaries here. The Centauri have a strong, hearty society shaped by high gravity. And they it are... might just be the strongest Centauri in the world. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> they are fierce warriors and loud laughers. Continued on back. I feel like that describes us pretty well, actually. Continued on back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fierce warriors and loud laughters. <laughs> laughters, yeah. Um, Rapid Force and the renegades have both sent Centauri warriors into battle over the years, sometimes against one another. Their renegade ties and constant interfaction wars have always kept the Centauri out of the Lucunian system, but the Global Coalition, a new Centauri provisional government, is lobbying to change that. Mm. This seems like a long shot. Tara says as Dante pilots the ship past the trinary star system's red dwarf star. <laughs> I, I actually read that correctly, but yeah, I know. <laughs> straight over. The reports are pretty thin. The evil one did use Centauri mercenaries during the Purple Days War, replies Flipto. I can't remember what voice he did, so I just normal. There. I didn't start doing voices until the Power Master appeared. Ah. <laughs> so any character that was introduced before the Power Master didn't get a voice. Well, wait for this one. Commander Chen remembers a name from the war. We should speak with the <laughs> General Gud. No, I'm not doing French this time. No, come on. <laughs> no. Didn't he fight for us? Asked Tara. Chen nods. Yes. But he's now considered a rebel by the provisional government. The drama. We should start with Governor Genga, the leader of the Global Coalition, Tara says. She will be more trustworthy and may have intelligence mm. to share. Mm. I've also read reports about a new group of extremists <laughs> gathering power, Flipto adds. <laughs> Who are the Martians? <laughs> uh, what was Dante again? Dante, did a Dante is like the American too, sidekick. Too many choices, says Dante. Cannot compute all variables. Like I said, says Tara. Long shot. Either way, says Chen. I know there are lots of wild and strange beasts on Proxima Centauri, and I'm pretty sure I brought something along on the ship that will easily make short work of all of them. <laughs> If only it's I, my nuclear arms. If only I can remember where I put it. <laughs> Continued on back. <laughs> Dave isn't that rubbish in names. Says, don't make her Welsh. Do not worry. I, I, I'm not going to make that mistake again. <laughs> I used to be able to do a Welsh accent, I thought. All right. I definitely can't now. <laughs> Glad to see yours. But if it isn't Commander Chen. <laughs> no. That's neither no, of us. I can't try. do it Required <laughs> challenge. Find, find the anti-beast weapon. <laughs> Draw data one, two, five. Anti-beast Challenge weapon. cards. As long as we don't draw the pro beast weapon, then if we should we be alright. If we lose, right. we will raise the EPM meter by two. Another active character must try. Debeastulator. <laughs> the debeastulator can <laughs> subdue enemies by removing their beastly spirit until they are as harmless as a Zarax Ultra Fluff. <laughs> Which I'm going to assume is sort of this world's version of like uh, the 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 Andrex puppy. Yeah. Keep this challenge booster. Finish Proxima Story Card One. Okay. So we, we just found it. 
But oh no, wait. Oh, that's required if, challenge. Sorry. If we win, we right. draw data. One, we two, need to five. do an eyeball challenge. Oh, let, me, let me see how eyeball challenges work. Sorry. Okay, so. Challenges. Some cards will present the crew with required or optional challenges. You must undertake all required challenges you encounter, but you may choose whether or not to take on optional challenges. Each challenge falls into one of the five different types. We've got piloting, diplomacy, dexterity, strength, and perception. Okay. You're the only one who has any bonus to perception. Everyone else is just bad at it. Nice one, Flipto. <laughs> with your okay, big so eyes. Flipto needs to nail this. Yes. Okay. Uh, certain characters will be better suited to certain challenges. Uh. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so, to perform a challenge, follow these steps. One, check the challenge level. The challenge level is determined by the signal tracker's current position. Ha! If four. The, if, the, yeah, if the signal tracker is at zero to six, the challenge level is four. Um, yeah, okay. cool. The challenge level is the number a player must reach or exceed with their die roll, plus any bonuses in order to win the okay. challenge. So it's a four, we've got to get, uh, and we've got a plus one, so. Oh, one sec, sorry. Ooh. We have to choose an active character, which we're, we're going to use Flipto. Flipto. So each character has certain challenge types that they are more or less proficient in, okay. as shown on their character cards. If a challenge type show, yeah, whatever. When choosing which character to use for a particular challenge, take into account their proficiencies. You must choose an active challenger to perform the challenge. Each cha <laughs> each character, stop putting so many CHs that sound different in one paragraph. Each character begins the game in the active state. After a character performs a challenge, their character card is flipped over and they become inactive. Inactive characters may not perform challenges. When the last active challenger performs a challenge, make all characters active again. So it's the same how Dragon Heart oh, works. No, somebody just said Tara's got perception. No, she hasn't. She's no, she got, got minus. Perception. Yeah, minus one. Um, yeah, so basically, once we use Flipto, we can't use them again until everyone else has done something. Oh, okay, cool. That's basically That's it. That's fine. Uh, challenge level's four, and we get a plus one to this, so it's better than 50-50. Better than uh, you may choose one challenge booster for each challenge. The challenge booster must be in possession of the character performing the challenge. So basically, if we did get this... Oh, God. You can also use it as a plus one strength. Oh, cool. Clever. But you can oh. only use one. So roll. Um, yeah. yeah, roll the die and resolve. That's a three, plus one is four. We have to equal it, right? Roll the die, add or subtract the character cards that matches the challenge type if there is one, then apply the effects to challenge booster if there is one. Result number is the challenge total. If the challenge total is equal to or higher than the challenge level, ah. you win the challenge! Ah. Follow the win instructions shown for the challenge. If the challenge total is yeah, less, then it's fine. We found the db stulator. Woohoo! And we get to... Finish Proxima Story Card 1. <laughs> we found it. But Proxima Centauri... Oh, we need to make a choice, don't we? What? Oh! Oh, we do need to make a choice. Oh, yeah, it's a choose-your-own-adventure. <laughs> it's the first time we've actually had to do a choice and we've do completely we want, buckled over. Do we want to meet with General Gad? Mm -hmm. Do we want to see the Provisional Governor? Or do we want to investigate the extremists? Investigate extremists. Let's see what the chat says. <laughs> you stole see? all the bagels. To, to, to be honest, like General Gad is the... Because my short-term memory is shot because I'm so tired. General Gad is the only thing I really remember, apart from... Uh, I think Flipto said something about extremists, but like... Didn't, didn't the person who helped us in the war become an extremist? Or a rebel? Right? I don't know. <laughs> Revolver Rock wants General. That's the only person who's actually responded. <laughs> Investigate. Investigate says that fruit bat. Extremist. Extremist is Adam. That's two. Yeah, all right. Let's investigate some yeah. extremists. Let's investigate the extremists. That's Proxima card number four. Do you want to do you want to take the helm again? Yeah, sure. Just pass it over every time we make it's, a choice. It's pretty uh... Oh, we need to flip Flipto. Oh god, Flipto, you have become inactive. Oh, yeah, we have our starting loot as Thank well, you very by much, the way. chat. Oh, yes, our starting loot. Well, I've already talked about my Lacunian action ointment. <laughs> what does it do again? After a challenge roll, discard this card to roll again and add the second roll to your first roll for your challenge total. That's Quite pretty easy. strong. Um, I can discard this during a challenge roll to re-roll any die. Um, discard this card before a challenge to automatically win. Discard this card at any time to reveal one face-down signal booster disc. Okay. Right. The report on the extremists is weeks old, but it's the only lead the crew has on this militant rebel faction. 
There's a little picture here as well, which is nice. Just check that that's, yeah, there you yep, go. There you go. Um, the report says they've resorted to terrorism. No, oh, no, wait. What does Flip Day sound like? Did you decide? Northern. Oh, no, it sounds stupid. The report says they've resorted to terrorism. I didn't say it sounded northern. Didn't you? Well, it sounded like stupid. No, like, just like, it's just, it's just nasal. The if report anything, says... quite southern. Oh. Okay. Yeah? There you go. All right. <laughs> I'm glad we got that covered. This is going to be a long one, isn't it? It really is. <laughs> If you want, I can just carry on voicing Flip Doe. Should we just, I'll do Evil Power Master, Tara and Dante, and then you do Chen and Flip Doe. Fine, done. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. That's you. Uh, the report says they've resorted to terrorism. Yeah. Flip Doe says, as the crew sneaks through Kosov, a burned out Centauri city. Just the kind of fanatics the evil guy would employ, Tara says. The base is near, says Chen. Scans detect 15 life signs. They're inside an abandoned security station. Flipto adds. <laughs> Thanks, Flipto. <laughs> oh, it's arid. Chen peeks at the stone station. The rubble from the roof and front wall covers the door. No easy approach. He says. Hey? Shh. I thought Commander Chen was a woman. It's a bit presumptuous, but no, yeah, it's a man. Oh. It's, it's, he's been addressed as he uh, in previous ones as well. Oh. Mm. Mm. Um, shh, this is Tara pointing down at the side street. Patrol. Required challenge. Hide from the patrol. Who's good at dexterity? Tara is and Chen is. Who should we use up? We've, um, got, we've got plus one strength from the debistulator. But who's got the debistulator? I thought it was... Oh, does someone have to equip it? Well, I don't know. Flipto found it. Let me just check if we have to equip them. Hmm. Hmm. Challenge, challenge boosters. Okay, I'm, I'm really, really quite glad people are enjoying this. <laughs> Someone has to, right? Yeah. Um, I think challenge boosters are just in a pool, to be honest. Oh, okay. Yeah. You may use challenge boosters for each challenge. Challenge boosters must be in possession of the character before the challenge. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Virgil Scott says, I vote that the next voice be Sean Connery, regardless of any sense. Got it. <laughs> Don't you worry. Each challenge booster is denoted by a character challenge type icon. They explained. When you discover an item, choose any character to give the oh, item perfect. to. Got it. Right, sweet. So who, who wants it? Uh, I don't know. What time should, we did... just, should we double down on strength and give it to Chen? Yeah, sure. What yeah? time did Sean Connery turn up at Wimbledon? Yeah. Tennis. Um, so <laughs> Did you hear that Sean Connery nearly dropped his Stop vegetable it. curry? Stop it. It was a near a mish. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> Jenna Grind has said, you're jet lag and it's 4am here, so let's do this. Yes. To be honest, it feels about 4am here as well. <laughs> Regardless of what time it actually I is. I memorised the timings. <laughs> well, I hope they haven't changed. <laughs> okay. Right. So, required challenge. Hide from the patrol. Um, let's use Tara. Yeah. Tara. Let's do, yeah, okay, let's do Tara. Then I get to roll the die. Yeah. So she is going to need a four, but actually only a three can, because of the challenge level just, and the booster. Can you just read out the void of Nero shelter belt, please? Personal force field from the Purple Days War. Right, yeah. The, the effect is the best thing I've ever heard. Discard this card before a challenge to automatically win the challenge without rolling. <laughs> so you've got to hide from the guard, do I, bollocks? <laughs> <laughs> Whip off your belt and they're like, yeah, all right, fair enough. See you later. I didn't understand why that was so funny until you contextualised it in the current challenge we had. But that's fine. So I'm going to roll the dice now. I got a one. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Okay, so we failed. Um, fine, done. Yeah, fine. We need to flip Tara regardless, don't we? Yeah, raise EPM meter by two and draw data 047. Oh, crap. So EPM is bad, signal tracker good. Ah, should have uh, should have whipped off your, your belt there. <laughs> I had to do it before no, the I roll. Mean, putting up the signal tracker does still make challenges harder. Anyway, anyway. Well, it's, I guess because we're getting closer to the bad guys, right? Just like a video yeah. game, it gets harder as it goes on. Yeah, true. You know? I guess. Yes. <laughs> this isn't just any belt, says that fruit bat. It's a purple wars <laughs> belt. This is a Marks and Spencer's purple wars belt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
After the crew jumps into a dumpster, they hear a female centauri with a husky voice say, Who left a candy bar wrapper next to the dumpster? I hate that. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> the lid rises and a Krona Crunch wrapper drops into the dumpster. The guard releases the lid, which lay lands sorry, with a bang on everyone's heads. All four let out a collective scream of... Ouch! Ouch. Even Dante. Especially Dante. <laughs> Why especially Dante? Go to story card eight. What was that? Asks the female. <laughs> Who should know? Yells the male. As the lid rises again, Tara fires her blaster at the side of the dumpster. She glabs, glabs? She, she glabs. glabs. She grabs Flipto's arm and pulls him through the hole she just created. No. Chen follows. You can hear the kerfuffle in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> Intruders, yells the female. Call for reinforcements. No. A violet laser tears through the stone wall next to Chen as he rounds the corner. From behind oh, him. God, sorry. Did you just say violet laser? I'm having a purple wall's flashback. It's back. okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> From behind him, he hears two gruff grunts of pain and the sound of Dante's mechanical arms. Sorry. <clears throat> ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Human. Two score for Dante. Exclaims the little droid. Try again. What? Oh, God. Come on, Two you've got this. Four score out. and seven S years ago. S S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S G S the crew dodges in and out of alleys and around piles of rubble. Despite the planet's gravity, they manage to pull ahead. Tara races toward a large building that stands at the edge of the city. Ooh. Continued on back. Several um, extremists appear. What is this? The straight pride parade? <laughs> <laughs> Tara and Dante who... Zing! <laughs> Tara and Dante, who really is amazingly fast, reach the bomb down... <laughs> I think you meant incels, but hey. <laughs> Tara and Dante, who really is amazingly fast, the author kind of fancies Dante, reach the bombed out doorway. I but, mean, wouldn't you? But, but two Look beasts, at this amorphous metal but being. two beasts <laughs> carrying riders emerge from an alley and block the street. Chen and Flipto skid to a stop as the beasts lug toward them. The riders aim their rifles as the beasts shake their tusks. Mm. Required challenge, fight the Gorog riders. Oh, that's going to be you, Mr. Dexterity. Only person remaining. Goodness. <laughs> Who did we give the debestulator to? Um, we gave it to Commander Chen. Okay, cool. To double down on strength. But oh, this yeah. is a dex this one. This is a dex one. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking to beat four. And we got plus one. What does your cube do? Uh, premonition device from the glass planet Silica. A thousand times more accurate than a crystal ball from Earth. <laughs> Discard this card at any time to reveal one face down signal boost. Oh, I guess it's these things, right? Yeah, yeah cool. Okie dokie. So you get plus one. Yep. You know the whole like sounding out like, come on, like sis, yeah, yeah. Sk, I actually used to teach kids to read when I was like a, a teenager. Mm. And I went to my friend's wedding and one of the people serving on the bar was a kid I'd taught how to read. And I was like, you don't remember me, do you? She was like, no, it's like, great. Literally taught you how to read. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, I, anyway. I wouldn't commit the person who forced me to sound things out to my memory, to be honest. <laughs> I remember you taught me to read, but fine. <laughs> hey! Hey! Success! Commander you didn't Chen. see it on the camera, but it's fine. It's oh, a success. Oh, yeah, I rolled a five. Raise signal tracker by two. Nice. Two. And draw data 051. Ooh. Uh, what's everyone saying? Lots of things. The game is very 80 and extra, and I like it. Yes. The voice makes it magical. Thank Hooray. you very much for that. War with the evil power, master. Data By the way, 51. anyone watching? Sorry if the camera goes like slightly weird on the table the because table like the actual is, table moves. It's not, it's not the camera. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time we've used our new boom arm. Though. Yeah, it's, it's quite pleasing, impressive actually. Come on. Do you know what? I could probably take a photo of it on my phone and then show Tweet it to the it. camera. Oh, okay. Yeah, that also works. I don't know why I'm doing it upside down. I'm going to read data card fifty-one. You go ahead. Now. There it is. Look at that chat. Look at that, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? It's pretty mental. Yeah, anyway, carry on. <laughs> Data card 51. 
Fired with deadly accuracy, a single shot vaporizes the head of one Gorog. It's getting real now. While the second beast drops to a barrage of fire. It pins its rider and crushes the other extremist when it falls. Ooh. The crew disappears into the building as their pursuers stop at the downed beasts. The crew races through the building to the edge of a crumbling spaceport. Commander Chen has killed like how many? One, two, three, <laughs> and however many other extremists. I mean, this guy went to the Purple Wars, right? Yeah, he had like <laughs> five people. Commander Chen just killed. Jeepers. Nice one. Cool. Yeah. Prop. Top tip. Just leave them cut, and then you can just put them back in a lot easier. That I just learned that after my one, and I had Smart. to go all the way back through again. Um, um, oh, ooh, a lot of people enjoying the boom arm. Good. It adds a lot. Uh, let's see. Also, go to Proxima Story Card 3. Okie dokie. Few buildings remain standing at the spaceport. A long terminal sits along the edge. A crumbling stone tower in the middle is surrounded by landing pads, most of which are covered in rubble. At the far end, a few hangars still stand. As the crew surveys the area, a Delta Wing transport ship descends towards a clear pad behind the tower. Chen motions everyone to take cover and watch. Shortly after the ship lands, a dozen armed Centauri emerge from the terminal. I thought it meant a thing with 12 arms for a second there, because we're playing a sci-fi no, game. That's so Dante's it, got 12 arms. Oh, okay, arms. fine, fine. I mean, it looks like he's got no arms, but it said mechanical arms at some point, so who knows. Um, emerge from the terminal and march toward a tall humanoid who descends from the ship. Is that him? Chen prods Dante. Is that the evil power master? The droid extends a night vision scope. Negative. It's a reptilian humanoid, Dante says, from the renegade planet Danas. Oh, that's me. This is an arms deal, says Tara. After the Denosian shakes hands with a centauri, a door opens on the ship and a platform loaded with crates descends. The Denosian opens one and holds up a laser rifle. That's what they look like, by the way, just in case anyone's wondering. I mean, I was, like, after all the talk of there being a dozen arms, I thought they were literally just trading <laughs> limbs. Like, here you go, here's an arm. Like, here's those knees this you asked for. Pretty muscly, this one's pretty so. muscly. This one's pretty, pretty good. The head centauri nods, and the rest of the extremists start hauling crates towards the hangar. We can't let them have that advanced weaponry, Tara says. We've got to take out that hangar. Optional free action. If you have data card 48... Are we supposed to keep them? Once we... No, we don't have data Well, we keep that's a oh, data card, no. but we, we don't. No, we um, don't. You may draw 53, but we do not. To follow the extremists, go to Proxima Story Card 5. The crew approaches the rear of the hangar and peeks through shattered windows. Inside Centauri extremists... Stack weapon crates next to stores of explosive, la explosives, large caliber weapons, and a few armored vehicles. Several crates lie empty, their contents already stowed in packs lashed to muscular, tusked gorogs. <laughs> Where are these going? Asks one, <laughs> asks one centauri. He grabs Solo and the Wookiee. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs a saddle and hauls himself onto the back of a beast. Several other riders mount up as well. Uh, do you want to be this centauri? <clears throat> the boss just sent word from the tower, replies another extremist. Take those weapons to the cache outside the governor's office. The final assault happens soon. And then Tara. They're staging a coup, hisses Tara. One of our seven recommended beginner games. <laughs> it's true. There are plenty. Bye now. There are many other videos for you to watch on Dicebreaker, and yet you're still watching this one. <laughs> we must send word to Rapid Force Command. Chen whispers. Who am I? Dante. I've already sent an encoded message. I mean, nobody asked you to do that, Dante. Dante <laughs> so says, it's a bit presumptuous <laughs> again. I fear help may arrive too late. Says Flipto. This may be up to us. Uh, Chen. Chen is you. That extremist said, the boss sent word from the tower, says Chen. Maybe the boss is in the spaceport tower? <laughs> Bravo, Chen. <laughs> Bravo. This guy's been in the Purple Wars. <laughs> if so, that's our best chance to end this. 
Your battle won't survive to find out, rapid force scum, says an extremist beast rider who's <gasps> aiming a laser rifle no! at the group. Required challenge. It's the only one who has minus one Defeat strength. Defeat the beast rider. <laughs> oh, crap. We could do a double roll if we use my candy-coated chrono beans. <laughs> I mean, we may well need your can candy-coated chrono beans. <laughs> candy-coated chrono beans. <laughs> oh my god. Egads. Candy, oh. candy coated chrono beans. A couple of people are having to leave, by the way. Thank you very much for joining us. Bye. And enjoy the VOD later, hopefully. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, well, well, okay, let's do the roll. We've literally got no one else, so yeah. Let's, so we need a five, basically. We, need a, we do need a five. That's a two. So what I can do is I can discard my candy coated chrono beans -coated to chrono add beans. to the two. So we need a three in the next roll. Oh, do. Hmm? Oh. Reroll any dice during that challenge. Oh no, I'm thinking of no. You're your thinking of something one. completely different. I'm thinking of your ointment, which I would not be good for a robot. I don't think it's worth discarding the candy coated no, chrono beans. I think we'll just fail. What card am I drawing? We, we, we're just taking another one in three chance. Draw data card fifty-five. I will raise the EPM meter by two. I can count all the way to fifty-five. <laughs> <laughs> As a reference, I did not understand. But, but if you enjoyed it, please let us know <laughs> in the chat. Wills and I, I mean, we've only been working together. <laughs> to be fair, mate, that was a video that was on like Newgrounds. So that is oh, a okay. pretty old reference. Fair enough. So I don't think it's an age thing. No, no, well, no, I'm, I mean, at the minute we are trying to work out where our references cross over. Mm. Apparently not there. <laughs> the crew dives out of the way as the extremist fires. They barely escape the first blast. The extremist fires again as its six-legged Gorog mount pounces. It lands on Commander Chen and knocks Tara and Flipdo into the hangar wall. The beast's tusks wave menacingly as it huffs loudly. Go to story card six. I am really struggling to picture a Gorog because they're meant to be like hulking great, like almost like um, fucking like banthers or whatever mm. in um, in in Star Wars, but now they're pouncing like cats, despite the fact they have six legs. Like, I'm now starting to picture the cat bus from My Neighbor Totoro, but like with, with. Oh, with, yeah. With tusks. I mean, that was a creepy bus, to be fair. And it also, when, when its eyes oh, I think it's joyful, but it still feels like a beast of burden. Shout out to Beatrice, who understood the reference. Bing! 55. All right, you ready? Yes. The Gorog's paws. It's got paws now? The Gorog's paws compress Commander Chen's chest. Okay. Say that ten times Com drunk. The p no, I can't even <laughs> say it once sober. Chat, tell, tell me, do, were you expecting paws? Were you expecting hooves? <laughs> were you expecting cloven hooves? Please, um, carry on, please. The beast snorts again, fouling the air and shifts its weight. Did, fouling it? Did it fart? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's sorry, uh, Torogs. I mean, I, I know this about them. I, I, apparently, I don't know what's on the end of their legs, but uh, yeah, they <laughs> fart through their noses. <laughs> and, uh, carry a, on. A sharp pain sears Chen's legs as the Gorog extends its claws. Biting back the pain, Chen tries to think before the beast can stab him with its claws or gore him with its waving tusks. Cat the, ball. <laughs> the rider seems to be ignoring Chen, which he feels is a blessing until he hears the report of a laser fire, followed by Flupto screaming. <laughs> oh, dang it. Flupto got shot. A second laser fires and Tara screams. Chen has one chance and only one chance. Dante! He calls. Blaster! Chen waves his hand in the air, and amazingly, he feels the cold, hard grip of a blaster hit his palm, followed by another laser blast and the clang of a metal body hitting the ground. No. Chen closes his hand around the blaster, raises his arm, and fires at the beast's chest! Continued on back. The blast rips a hole clean through the Gorog, affording Chen a momentary view of the crimson Centauri sky. I thought we were in a building. When the beast's legs buckle and the one-ton beast falls towards him, the folly of his course of action hits Chen in the face. If any active or inactive character has data, data card 60, we do not, 
The team may discard it to automatically win the challenge below, oh. but we have a required challenge of strength. However, Dante just did one, which means we're back in full strength. Bing, 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 bing. And Commander Chen can get a plus two on strength. I believe we will need it for the Debistulator. It will come in handy here. Ooh, required challenges to lift the Gorog off of Chen. Don't worry, Gorog's going to flipping bench press it off because he's an absolute beast. I saw somebody say that they were expecting it to be like an Orog from D&D. &D. Let me just see what they look like. That's not what I pictured, but I see what yeah. you mean. Uh, anyway. Okay. It weighs a ton. It must have eaten a lot of bagels. I agree. All right. So, uh, strength check on Commander Chen, and you get plus two. Okay. Come on, space baby. Papa needs a new tube of Lacunian action ointment. <laughs> That's a two. Which is a four. Because it's plus two. Oh, yeah. We only Hell need yeah. To four. Great. But we it's did a success. It. Thank goodness. Race signal tracker by two and draw data one, five, six. Bing, bing. Here you are, friend. The Gorog is successfully removed from Chen. <laughs> but it's not a perfect happy ending. Chen is covered in mud, Gorog hair, and humiliation. Does that mean poo? <laughs> <laughs> let's get the heck off this filthy, filthy planet, snarls <laughs> Chen, and let's never speak of this incident again. The end. Raise EPM meter by two. All right. Ooh, that's bad. Discard the disc. Proxima Centauri. Oh. Choose a new planet to explore. So. Well. Suppose we have to sort of go to one. So I guess when we travel, it raises, it raises the meter the by meter. two. Yeah, and I think so. I think the way that these little discs work, <clears throat> uh, a blue boost will have four to six for our signal tracker. Uh -huh. um, yellow is six to eight, and pink is eight to ten. So we should probably should we go like down the middle and try and get to the pinks? I would the big like boys. nothing more than to go to follow up. <laughs> follow up me to follow up. Oh, Chen's flipped now, right? Yes. Good night, Chen. Right, let me just check there's no weird rules about moving. Throughout the game, you will move the ship market to different planets to explore them. When you get to a new planet, take the 13 story cards for that planet and pick a player to read the first one aloud. Mm. The three ways in which your time exploring a planet can end, either data find, you successfully find the last known location of the evil power master on that planet and use the data boost into a signal. Basically, we get to flip it. The end, the team reaches a fruitless end, or possibly a death. Follow the instructions on the card, discard the disc, choose a new planet to explore. What do you mean that that was a fruitless end? How or dare you? the EPM meter or signal tracker reaches 25. Read end of the game on page 8 to see what happens next. While you're en route to a new planet, characters may freely exchange cards with each other. That's interesting. Ooh. There are several important things to keep in mind when deciding which planet to explore next. Next. <laughs> next. You may travel to any planet as long as it has a signal booster disc. Uh, you must raise the EPM meter by two for every path segment you travelled along. So plus yeah. two, plus four. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to stop at the next one. Oh, we see. Um, mm. Yeah, the colour is is the numbers that I just said. Mm -hmm. uh, and each planet has two challenge type icons below its name. These represent the challenge types that are most common and second most common on that planet. Uh, looking at things and picking things up on follow up. Should we Earth just go straight to looking a at things and shaking the hands? Uh, going straight to a pink because uh, I suppose we've only got about 24 minutes left in the stream, haven't we? Yeah, yeah let's, let's do, do that. that. Right, straight right. to the pink. So, so, so this goes up four. Okay. This is on ten, which is Ooh. quite deadly, actually. <laughs> Aruth. All right, Aruth. Aruth. Aruth is on fire. On fire. <laughs> cool. Great, good. All right, we're in Aruth, not in silica gel. Not in silica gel. Okay, we'll pop those up there. To be honest, we don't need to do it. Thank That's you to everyone watching. Uh, Panyard peak and currents have been 423. Ooh, hello. It's too bad. Hello, Especially everyone. You're again just screaming next to <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okie dokie, a roof. The Fizzlet, which is the name of our ship. Of course it is. Slows down from light speed next to the car path. <laughs> 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 a space frigate sent to survey the destruction of a roof. Please, did it actually say car path? For God. Okay. <laughs> Oh, a roof was the thing that actually blew up, so a roof is on fire. <laughs> a roof is on fire. Apparently, the evil power master made good on his word and destroyed the planet, which is now a field of debris that hauntingly orbits an unknown center. 
I'm just going to answer a quick question from the chat. Adam McCarthy says, Johnny, I was curious, did the creator of Werewolf have anything to say about the game you guys ran? I thought it was great to watch even the bit of a rushed round. Apparently, the words he used were, it was fun. <laughs> so, very diplomatic, I think. But anyway, carry on. The crew boards and meets with Commander Rostrom who grudgingly gives Dante and Flupto computer access. Oh my God. Can I check my Bebo? <laughs> free item. Draw data 65. God damn it, Flupto. We got a free item, though. Great. 65. Shh, 55. Hey, you up? <laughs> Flupto, honestly. Flupto is so thirsty. Whereas Dante's like, yeah, baby, I'll meet you on Thursday. I'm Dante, the robot <laughs> with arms. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Remote mainframe access device. This device allows Wi-Fi access to the CarFast mainframe computer. I feel like this probably was a rewrite, considering that this book was definitely released before Wi-Fi existed. Yes. Uh, keep this challenge booster, finish a Roof Story Card intro. Who uh, should we give plus one perception to? Give it to Dante. Dante is the absolute Don. All right. Like, Dante is clearly the hero of this story. Yeah, we're all just following him around. Yeah. Not sure why Rapid Force is here, says Rostrum. There's no planet left for lawbreakers to inhabit. Oh, no. This is, this is like, you know in the X-Files when they turn up and the sheriff's just a dick because he's <laughs> the one who done it? It's this. Commander Chen considers the body bag stacked in the bay before replying. Oh, it's Chen. We won't be here long, he says. We're looking for anything to help us find the evil power master. And make that no good oh, low life. We're looking pay. for anything to help oh. us find the evil power master and make that no good low life pay. Adds Tara. Why did Tara add adds Tara? <laughs> Carry on. Rostrom points to the ringed field of debris on the view screen. You see anything useful out here? Nothing left of a roof but bodies and rubble. Keep it down, you kids. <laughs> oh, sorry. Fascinating. Says Flipto, which earns him a glare. That is, rings require a gravity well. <laughs> he continues. When a roof was destroyed, why didn't the debris di disperse into space? He's there... like, people have died here. Yeah. And he's like, oh, that's cool. I'm going to put that in my scrapbook. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hidden anomaly in the center, says Dante. A gravity device. The car path can't get close enough to investigate, <laughs> says Rostrom. We're too big to chance it. There's too many characters in this scene. Whoa! Sure. No, Chen. Oh, we can help with that. Chen says. Whoa! Shouts Flupto, noticing something out the window. Now I thought I'd see one of those. Stop gawking, Martian! Whoa, racist, yells Rostrom. He looks at Chen. Yours is an undisciplined command. I mean, he's wearing shorts and a vest. Disgraceful. It's Ian Higson. It's fair, to be fair. Uh, Chen's face turns bright red. He opens his mouth to deliver a devastating retort. But Flipto saves the situation. Sensors detect a space squid entering the vicinity, <laughs> Commander Rostrum, sir. Flipto says in his most formal tone. Red alert, calls Rostrum. There you are. Do you think they're okay? Are they there like he is. Oh, yeah. The absolute boy looking at a space squid. Ooh! <laughs> the car pass crew scramble to their stations. Time for you four to leave. If you intercept the space squid, go to a Ruth story card seven. If you investigate the gravity anomaly, go to a Ruth story card three. I think we should go and intercept a space squid. Yes? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Story card seven. I hate big things in the ocean wheels. Let's go kill it. All right. Oh, you're just like Abby then. She's terrified of tentacles coming out of the ocean. Yeah, it's mostly whales, but yeah. you know, whatever. I'll take, you know, I feel like if we kill a giant space squid, it'll pass the message along. And the <laughs> space whales will be like, you're not welcome here, big creatures. creatures. Yeah. Okay. The crew returns to their own ship. What the heck is a space squid? Chen asks. Think of it as a giant squid in space, says Dante. Flipto taps the controls <laughs> to start the engines. They appear after space battles to feed on organic flotsam. Oh. That's where Flipto's wrong, because that would be jetsam. Mm. Flotsam is natural, jetsam has been jettisoned. It's, it's, kind, of, <laughs> it's kind of like a, uh, a space version of a drowner from the Witcher universe. Mm. Um, 
You mean bodies, says Tara. Oh, she's American now. <laughs> Jen shudders at the thought of a giant monster eating Aruth's eight billion dead. Now he feels bad for them. Before he was like, core, don't these body on no, doing Chen. something? Oh, Chen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Flipto still. Still, still <laughs> just enjoying Sorry. the thing Chen the space shudders at the thought of a giant monster eating Aruth's eight billion dead. We should help us. Yeah, I know. I was pausing for dramatic effect. We should help Rostrum destroy it, Chen says, whether he wants our help or not. <laughs> it's like, your line now! By Lacunian law, we should protect it, says Tara. Chen slams his fist onto the console, causing a klaxon to blare. <laughs> he jabs at the button several times before he manages to shut it off. <laughs> 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 What should we do? He asks. Tell Rostrum to stand down while we talk to a squid? <laughs> what? Scientific reports indicate space squid are highly intelligent, says Flipto. The nerd. <laughs> and may communicate through hyperphotonic hyper emanation. <laughs> Jen stares at the monitor. The space squid jets ever closer to the debris rings, leading, leaving clouds of black droplets behind. Poop. If you talk to the space squid, yes. go to Aruth Story Card 4. If you fight the space squid, go to Story Card 9. Everybody, how about fighting or talking to a space squid? Which should we do? You tell us, then we'll do it. Chat or smash. 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 Quite loud There's now. quite a big delay I've, on this chat. I've got quite sensitive ears. <laughs> Uh, talk. That's not one of the two options I gave. Revolver Rock. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Fight. Fight. Plotsam comes down from the ceiling. Jetsam comes up from the floor. Oh, wait. Stalactites cling tightly. Stalagmites stand mightily. And they might touch the ceiling. Right. I saw someone actually say smash, then chat. There's a lot of killing, isn't there? Yes, we're going to fight this Whoa, squid. Oh, big influx of chat towards the end there. Mm. No. No. Oh, mate, there is a lot of chat. Oh, my God. I'm seeing a lot more chat There's now that everyone's actually chat. using using the chat. All right. <laughs> Use Tinder and do both. So it's kind of <laughs> nice. All right, let's chat to it then. Uh, what, what card? Four. Yeah. I'll tell you what. It's like sticking a finger in the book. If we don't know what happens, we'll go back and hit it. Yeah. <laughs> That's you straight off. I guess Tara's right. Chen says. Even space squids have space rights. Let's fight it. Let's I'll, fight it. I'll try to buy us some time with Rostrum, says Tara. Dante opens a radio channel while Flipto drops beneath the console. It's eating billions of dead. We should be fighting it's, it. They're dead. What else are they going to do? They might as well be chum. <laughs> wow. Remind me never to invite you to my funeral. Okay, well, uh, you won't have to because you won't have a funeral because I'll feed you to a giant space quiz. <laughs> if you die, I'm going to eat you. Okay, fine. Cool. Deal. Um, right. Flip that drops beneath the console. Cop off, stand down, Tara says into the microphone. We have a plan. You have 60 seconds, replies Rostrom. <laughs> Icily. <laughs> Chen looks under the console. What are you doing down there? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what? Oh, whatever Chen. you're doing down there, Flipto, do it quicker. Flipto yanks out wires, licks the ends, and reconnects them. We're routing hyperphotonic inducer through the impulse housing. He says. I can soft code a duodecimal translator to provide light messages. Just tell me when it's. Oh, that's you. <laughs> Just tell me when it's done. Chen says, rubbing his temple. Done! Says Flipto. I asked the squid to leave so we may bury our dead. Chen and Tara are stunned as the squid turns to depart. Would be nice if it could get the gravity device for us first. Chen says facetiously. <laughs> Making fun of Flipto. Yeah. Flipto taps out a new message. Required challenge. Ask the squid for help. Now, <laughs> your boy here, Mr. Dante, is good at shaking hands. So I guess it's time oh, yeah. for him. Um, if we win, we continue reading below. If we lose, pardon me, we raise the EPM meter, pardon me, by two. All right, here okay. we go. Another active character must try. Okay. All right, here we go. So we need a three. three. Yeah. Ooh, go. That's two wheels. I could re-roll. You could, 
get rid of your whatever they are. My beans. Cloaca beans. I'm thinking about those beans. Get, get, get. <laughs> I was eating those beans. All right, come on, beans. Don't fail me now. It's a four. There we go. Shout out to Beans, everybody. Thanks, Can we beans. get a big old shout out to Beans in the chat? Heinz, if you'd like to sponsor this stream, <laughs> give us a shout. Actually, I'd take that. The squid jets to the center of the rings, returns, and offers the crew a strange device. Oh, wait. Draw data 059. 59. Oh, wait, that's 18. Everyone's telling us. Everyone's basically telling us to date and then ghost the squid. <laughs> Uh, Five nine. Eating. Gravity engine. Mm. The weird gizmo pulses with a mysterious glow. There's a serious black market for these things in the void of Nero, which is a place we can go to, which is next to us. It is. Keep this challenge boost up and go to a roof story card eleven plus two dexterity. That's pretty great. Who's good at dexterity? Uh, Tara. Give it to Tara. Shen and Tara have have dex. I don't really. Well, mind. he's got plus one strength, so let's yeah, go to Tara. Good to Tara. Oh, Tara's super agile now. Um, and then we go to story card 11. 11. Or oh, we could give it to somebody who's got negative decks like Dante. Yeah, but then we only get plus, plus one, one in total. Yeah. And bear in mind, challenge levels are going all the way up to six yeah. at some point. So maybe yeah. we do need to start Fair like enough. specializing. All right, um, over to you. Hi, over to you. <laughs> This thing is that fascinating, <laughs> says Dante. Mm. Spat all over my I'm arm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chen... It made me do a TH sound. <laughs> Chen sighs. The droid has been tinkering with the device for an hour while Flipto has droned on about <laughs> flavoured quarks, strange muons, and a playful buffet he sampled one time on Graxis Prime, calling it now Flipto's a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> what is a it? A buffet of bodies. What perhaps. is it, Dante? Chen asks, and please use small words. I call it a gravity engine, says Dante. It tears. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh. It tears matters apart and rebuilds it as particles of pure energy. Flipto gravity. explains. Whatever. <laughs> Chen and Tara stare at Flipto, their mouths slack. It changes the gravitational constant, says Dante, on a planetary scale. That thing destroys a, destroyed a roof with gravity, Tara asks. Well, yes. So that's you, says Flipto. <laughs> Can it do it again, Chen asks. If it's already been destroyed, I'm guessing not. I'm guessing to another planet. I, oh, I see. Yeah. Continues on back. Oh. No, says Flipto. It's missing its impulsion marble. It's a pivotal component of the device. Any idea where the evil power master sent this item from? Asks Tara. We tracked a signal to a base outside the system, says Dante. Draw data card 70. Ooh. Good lord. We sure are making some headway, aren't we? Mm. Uh, data find. A scan of the area where the transmissions originated reveals an abandoned space station. The transmission data gets added to the tracking algorithm. Turn over the disk and raise signal tracker the amount shown. If any character has one or more of the following data, raise tracker the additional amount shown. Does anyone have 66, SI1, no, no. or 28? No. Oh, God damn it. No. <laughs> um, so we get... Nine! Nine what? On the thingy, the oh, good one. no. Is it the good one? Yeah. Okay. So we're on 13 now. Mm -hmm. Woo! But all our challenge levels are six. Are you sure it's the good one? Yeah, because we need to get it to 25 to oh, win. Oh, okay, fine then. Yeah. Cool. Well, that was pretty good. Choose the new plan to explore. Should we go to the Void of Nero now that we've got this black market item that's really expensive and whatever? Yeah. Nero, Faro, wherever you are, I. You are here in my ship, and my ship is flying over there. <laughs> Do you need to flip anyone for having done a challenge? Oh, um, Dante did it. Yeah. Cool. So, let's go to the Void of Nero, because I'm sick of the Void of Faro. Lazy Tony saying this stream is quite relaxing in comparison to the Eurogame one that just finished. I can't, for the life of me, imagine why. <laughs> Perhaps it was screaming. Okay, where's Nero? 
Nero. So if you are just joining us, hello. Faro. This is that's the same joke Wherever I just made, but more music. You are a... I am <laughs> furious. Absolutely. Why didn't you livid. sing it if you wanted rights to the joke? Okay. Ow! <laughs> this is War with the Evil Power Master, a choose your own adventure game based on the book by R. A. Montgomery, who I think we can all agree really deserves some form of Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> or probably the Nobel Prize for Literature, which is yes. the one that you give books, or people who've done books. Void of Nero. <laughs> Report. <Yep. laughs> Carry on. Oh, brilliant. That's watched me hit you over the head with a box in the catch-up. That's really satisfying. <laughs> Report. <laughs> Shut up. Reports of a strange energy beam lead the crew to the space frigate Menton, patrolling the edge of the void of Nero. Futo convinces Commander Chen to use the teletransporter to board the Menton, even though the commander has always hated being dematerialized. He's also the Witcher, he doesn't like portals. Sure enough, when he rematerializes on the Menton, the process proves less than perfect. Chen jiggles his foot a few times until all the pieces of his leg fall into place. Phew. The commander of the Menton, Sartan, appears. Need some help with that? She asks. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, <laughs> let's just carry that on. Carry on. A wry smile on her face. Chen avoids eye contact while Tara chuckles quietly. <laughs> we may have to dis We have much to discuss, I mean, Sartan says. <laughs> then strides to a large view screen that reveals the void of Nero, an immense area of dark energy. She taps a few buttons. The void enlarges to fill the screen, and a planet comes into view. Yesterday, that beam of unknown energy appeared on this planet, she says. But that's, Tara starts, stunned. Yes, says Flipto. It's purple, the planet we saved from the evil power master during the Purple Days War. Continue on Void of Nero's Story Card 1. The thought of purple raises old demons. Yeah, it does. Ah! Chen focuses on the task at hand. Where is the beam heading? He asks. Impossible to tell, says Dante after analyzing Satan's data. No known planet lies in its path. We need a void ship, Tara says. There, I can help, says Sartan. She leads the crew to a small spacecraft shaped like an arrowhead, Ooh. a void ship built to push through dark energy. Chen looks at Flipto and smiles. Perfect. Just like the one we flew in the Purple Days War, he says. That was perfectly delivered. Flipto raises an eyebrow. I don't recall those days being <laughs> perfect, he says. A sleek droid is fueling the ship. Hello, it's all getting sexy now. <laughs> You can take the droid, says Sartan. It's an excellent void pilot. <laughs> Dante clutters over to the droid and asks, What is your make and model? I'm a Proto 331, <laughs> it says. I'm a pilot, astrogator, and companion. Oh, God. <laughs> Bring on the sex droid. They have made the subtext text. We'll stick with Dante, Chen says. Read that bit. Sartan then. says. But Protor is clearly superior to your rudimentary drug. We'll, we'll stick oh. with Dante. No, what? No. We'll stick with Dante, says Dante, cheerily interrupting her in a perfect imitation of Chen's voice. Nailed it. Yep. <laughs> Flipto looks at the void ship. Should we follow the beam to its origin, he asks, or to its destination? Ah, good origin question. Origin or destination? Origin or destination? Origin. Or that destination. is the question. <laughs> By the way, when you read that line and I said perfect delivery, it very much reminded me of Dark Place, where he goes over his delivery of, you were his buddy, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chat. Uh, Can we ask chat? Origin or destination? That is our proclamation. Give us your. Who's getting destination? Says Revolver Rock, who is clearly watching this like a few seconds before everyone else. Mm. Uh, destination. Let's just do destination. That's quicker right. and easier. Which which card? Ten. Ten. Is it me now? Yes. Don't worry. I'm just fishing it out for you. I was just asking. Dante activates the ship's dark energy shield. Dante. Tara and Flipto feel a familiar tingle. I don't miss that, Tara says. I find it most 
Enjoyable. Yeah, Flip Doe's a pervert. Says Flip Doe as he settles into his seat with his jorts on. <laughs> the white beam pushes through the miasma of the void. As the ship approaches, the beam fills the screen. It's, uh, it's enormous. Chen says. What in the seven moons of Gobbo is that? <laughs> in answer, 12 delta wings appear. Now, is that 12 delta wings or one creature? Is that 12 delta wings each? Or is it 12 spicy <laughs> delta wings? <I'm> <laughs> we may never know. As if they had flown out of a long tunnel, the group breaks into three squadrons and attacks a hexagonal space station. No. no that's oh, it's me. See. No record of that station, says Dante. They need our help, Tara cries. Four delta wings turn toward the void ship. Energy weapons don't function in the void, so Chen and Flipto fire round rocks at the, at the ship from pneumatic tubes. Whoa, Re look at that sick ass art. Required challenge. Ooh, uh, a piloting challenge. Fleet. Oh, God, Flipto. Flipto, it's your time. Uh, let's do it. You've got the ointment, so. I've got this. Somebody pass me my Laconian action ointment. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we've got to uh, hit a six. Yeah, so good thing you have some ointment. That's true. This will probably be our last challenge of the stream. Are we going to have to carry this on at another time? God, I or hope. will the adventure be decided by you when you buy it for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Oh, it's a two, two plus. Okay, so we absolutely have to discard this, and we need a four up. Oh, God. Hey! hey! Wish you brought that the first time. We got a six, by the way. It wasn't on screen. Um, Bing! Win. Raise signal tracker by two. Up to oh, 15. Hold on. Hold on. I'm just applying my ointment. <laughs> <laughs> and draw data zero, one, three. How much do we put the signal tracker up by? Two. Two. Fifteen. That's a lot of signal that we're tracking right now. Are you ready? The first salvos hit their marks and tear through two enemy ships. Yeah. Which explode in small balls of flame. Yeah. What's left of the energy contained in the ship's dark energy shields. The other two ships take evasive action. Required yeah. challenge. Destroy the last two enemy ships. Oh, seriously? Guess what? Plus three because oh, we need yeah. thingy. yeah. What up, Guess Tara? Guess what, Tara? Um, all right, so we need a six, but we actually only need a three because of our plus three. That's a that's one. You biffed it, Tara. Oh, but... We should have taken off our belt. But remember when I took my belt off, Johnny? Ooh. I mean, that's cheeky. Let's just do it. <laughs> it's, it's near the end of the stream. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, remember when I took my belt <laughs> off and we automatically won? Oh, my God, she just took her belt off and, like, whipped two ships to death. Through the dark matter. Bang. Uh, race signal tracker by one and draw day card 14. Should have left it open. I didn't follow my own advice. Mm. 12, 13, 14. The next volley of stone pro uh, projectiles flies true and tears through the remaining two ships just as balls of light begin to form on their forward turrets. As the ships explode, Tara lets out a loud whoop. Flip <laughs> Flip those shakes his head. The remaining Delta Wings have all scattered. An energy beam arcs out from the space station and obliterates them all with incredible destructive force. Could this be the evil Power Master's base? We're being hailed, says, says Dante. Dante. What a cliffhanger to end that on. Draw 16. I, I think not. I think we should cliff, cliffhanger the, the crap out of this. Do you want to go home? Yes! <laughs> I was having fun. I know. And so was I, but it's also half five. It's fine. It's it's going home time. Well. Because we've got to tear this down. Yeah, we actually do. And, uh, what, uh, seriously, that's a brilliant cliffhanger to end on. So will we come back to this? Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> that's the second cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> thank Tune you. Tune in next time to Dice Break Live to find out. Yeah, thank you for watching this kind of chaotic stream of uh, War with the Evil Power Master, a choose your own adventure adventure. <laughs> I'm not really supposed to yawn while describing the game, but we're just very, very jet lagged. So you it, was pretty, with it was pretty fun, actually. That pretty wacky. That was good fun. Uh, so, hey, the good thing about streaming it is that we know exactly what we have on the table. So if we do want to pick this up again and conclude our adventure, we can. Of course, if you want to have adventures of your own, this game is available. You too could uh, take on the galaxy as Flipto or possibly Commander Chen. Maybe you'll be Tara or even... 
Dante. Who knows? Like, let's the, you you show them the you evil, power fight the evil power master. Who's, uh, who's apparently 42 and was born in a place called Dastardo. Dastardo. Which the evil uh, power master. Which is... Uh, <laughs> Uh, was definitely a choice. So thank you very much for watching. Um, we will catch you very soon. Wales, don't you need to stand up and then unlock <laughs> no, the computer? It's, and it's then... like his dating profile. Oh, no. It's just like strength, solid minion organizer, stylish, confident, has clear goals. GSOH. <laughs> Weaknesses, always yelling, works too hard, wants to destroy civilization, evil. That sounds a lot like most of the people that work in this building, to be fair, to be honest with you. So, uh, evil. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's end the stream there. We could just send it straight from here rather than you getting up. No, it's fine. I'll okay. get up. Bye, get everyone. Up you can still hear me. Fairly well. I know. Are you, I'm in the same room as you. Um, no, not you. Wow. How about that? That was... Yep. Goodbye. Hold on.